Welcome back to Things That Fold. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Play Kitties cash register. So obviously all of us are struggling with the pandemic, trying to work from home, trying to exercise from home. Uh, I highly recommend you check out our reviews of the folding keyboard by Jellycat and the Brazen Life folding foam roller. Uh, if you're struggling with those things, but no one is having a harder time than kids. You know, they're stuck in the house, especially for those of us living in small apartments. So for my four-year-old, I wanted to get him an extra toy to play with, uh, just to keep him entertained. Uh, and obviously when you live in an apartment, uh, it can't be some of these big toys that you see in suburban houses. It can't take up a lot of space. I wanted to get something educational uh, that would be age appropriate. And we thought of a cash register, a toy cash register. There's a lot you can do with them, uh, especially with regards to math. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and after a deep dive through the internet we found a folding cash register uh, the holy grail of toys right there uh, so let's let's take a look and see what we have here you'll see that it's recommended for ages three plus um, I tested this on my son who's about four and a half and uh, he seems to really like it it may not be appropriate for younger children as there are a bunch of small pieces which we'll take a look at later although uh, <laughs> some of the large pieces have become teethers for my baby um, if you note here it takes three double a batteries which are included which is nice um, you'll also notice that this is a fairly large box right here uh, I'll show you uh, the sides of it, the back of it. Here's my hand for scale, right? It's a big box. So let's open it because when we open it, you'll see that it's surprisingly much more of a compact toy than the box would have you believe. Um, there are a bunch of pieces that come with the cash register that you have to take out. You can see it a little better here, but let's let's do the full unpack, right? There's pieces flying everywhere, but that's okay. We're gonna start with looking at the actual uh, cash register itself, not the accessories that come with it. And what you'll see here is that it folds flat, right? If you're looking from the side, you get a nice compact fold, although this uh, scanner can move around and this can kind of tuck under, although it won't stay. Um, and the folding mechanism, it goes like this. You press a button and it collapses flat. I'll show you that one more time because that's why we're here. It's a thing that folds. Press the button, goes flat. Uh, not hard for a child to do, but let's pull it into the user mode that we uh, would have here. Now, I have to say that uh, some of the features here seem a little bit cheap to me. Uh, for example, this drawer here opens with a tiny little key right and anyone who has children knows this key is going to get lost real fast right what i did to kind of hack that on my own uh, i took a simple ribbon and put it through the hole uh, that is already on the key uh, i don't know why they didn't just put some sort of keychain or make the key larger i don't know um, also, you can use the key to open, to unlock, and then open the drawer, which can be a little tricky until you get the hang of it. Now let's take a look at what's in the drawer. Money. 
Okay, there's a bunch of play money, which oddly contributes to the cheap feel because it's all printed only on one side. Uh, I don't know how hard it is or how much more money it costs to print on both sides, but that struck me as a little weird. Um, it's also uh, not very sturdy paper. Again, not going to last very long with kids. There are a few play coins, just very, you know, basic pieces of plastic. Again, these are the small pieces they were talking about when uh, they said this would not be appropriate for kids. You get one credit card that comes with it. I would have liked to have seen a second one uh, to, you know, guard against it being lost or if, you know, a few kids are playing together. Um, but it's a thick plastic with a sticker on it. And one of the cool features of this cash register that I really wa wanted to find was there is a swipe, right? I can turn the cash register on and you'll hear uh, the swipe noise. Um, we'll, we'll do that later. I have it off at the moment. And I know when we go to the real grocery store, my son loves being the one to do the credit card. Again, pre-pandemic when that was actually an option. Um, I would like to take a look at this drawer a little bit. One reason we bought a toy cash register is the educational value that goes behind it. And at this age, three plus, one key component of mathematical learning is sorting, right? So I would have loved to have seen a drawer that had a divider so they could say pennies here, nickels there, quarters there, um, to give it that added educational element. Not a necessity, just a would be nice to have. You'll also notice that there is this part that extends a little bit farther, which makes it look like the drawer is bigger than it is. Uh, it's really not that big. Okay. One other cool feature is it has a scanner, right? An actual barcode scanner. And for this, I'm gonna turn on the machine. There's underneath an, an on-off switch, right? And then there's Calculator mode, cash register mode. Hello, welcome my friend. And you hear that when you turn it on, it greets you in a lovely British accent, which is hilarious because this toy is from a company in Brooklyn. Uh, I love it though. I love that feature that it's a British accent. It gives um, kind of a unique, more worldly, uh, type of experience. I don't want my kid to have all of his speaking toys sounding the same. Also, it's a little bit adorable when my son comes over and goes, Mama, what's clear? He means clear with a British accent. Thank you. Please come again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, so back to the scanner. Okay, so you see this is a scanner. It actually stays on relatively well. And underneath, this is just a sticker. These are not buttons. The scanner, you press a button and it'll scan something. Uh, I think I have to turn it back on to do that. Now, what are we scanning, right? This comes with a basket full of food. We'll put it there. It's a little tiny basket and it comes with five pieces of food. You see chocolate, uh, cupcake mix, a box of coffee, uh, great for when the kids want to pretend to be all grown up. It's always the coffee. Two vegetables, <laughs> which are uh, cute, and a carton of milk. Now, the set came with a page of very homemade looking stickers that have barcodes, and you can put them on the boxes that uh, come for the food, right? So the idea is that, let me turn this Hello. back on. Welcome, my friend. When you want to scan, you align these little arrows, right? Which is nice for the kids to have some direction on that. Eight dollars and 50 cents. 
Apparently our milk costs $8.50. Uh, <laughs> pandemic price gouging, perhaps. Uh, because when you're using the, these stickers, you don't know how much each one is supposed to cost unless you scan it first. So maybe I should have put the $1 one on the milk instead of the $8.50. Uh, but I didn't think about that before. Um, you'll also notice one really fantastic thing when you're hearing all these uh, beeps and speaking voices. It's not that loud. Nothing is worse than when a toy makes too much noise and you have to hear it over and over and over and over. Here it's reasonable. You're not going to hear it in the other room, but it's just loud enough for the kids, right? Um, another nice thing that I love um, and is harder to find in toys and you'll remember if you uh, read our blog more regularly that I am really insistent on the toys not being flashy and gendered. I don't want a pink sparkly cash Wait, register. I don't Bye. want a, uh, you know, macho boys only. I think our society needs to move past that. A cash register should not be gendered. And yes, they make gendered cash registers. You'd be surprised. This is a really nice light blue, light green. It doesn't take over the decor of your living room if that's where you decide to store it. It's just uh, classy. Um, Okay, so another one of my favorite features is that this is actually a working calculator and this is where a large part of the educational aspect comes in. Uh, you can do three plus three and it'll give you the correct answer. Unlike a real cash register, there's minus times divided by um, and it really will help kids work on the math skills the buttons are nice and large for small fingers. And again, like we mentioned before, you switch between calculator mode where it's a straight up calculator and you see you know, the output up here or cash register mode um, where it's talking about how much something costs. So I think that some toy cash registers are more geared towards entertainment and some more towards education. We purposely chose one that's a little bit more realistic and a little bit more for education um, and also of course it folds. So one other fun feature uh, is the microphone. You press the button and you can speak into the microphone. Uh, kids love feeling all official when they say next in line or whatever announcement they'd like to make. I think that's Thank a, you. Please come again. a cute Bye. addition. Um, you'll notice also that it just turned off on its own, which is great because if you have a kid who uh, leaves it on all the time, you don't want to waste the batteries. One other feature I wanted to take a look at is this scale over here. Um, and that's a nice educational feature. You can say, you know, the corn weighs less than the whole basket full of food. I do wish it had numbers on it. I think that it would be better for the kids to learn with, but I'm not here to split hairs on it. Overall, I'm loving the cash register. And more importantly, my four-year-old is loving the cash register. It has excellent ratings on Amazon and the price is more reasonable than a lot of cash registers shockingly I have seen online cash registers that cost up to sixty dollars uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that would be within my budget for a toy um, and overall it's a good choice it's relatively compact um, it is great for people who don't want a massive bulky toy taking over their space and really want to get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of it being both a fun and an educational experience. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. For more content like this, be sure to follow us. Um, our website is thingsthatfold.com. We're on Twitter and YouTube. And thanks for joining. Bye.